This is a question about how many electrons can be fit into principal quantum number 6. And we're given a hint on doing this in thinking about if n is 6, what can l be? And for each l, what is the value of m sub l? That's because this is a theoretical question. There are no elements that exist that completely fill the n equals 6 principal level. So let's follow our hints. n is equal to 6. That means L can possibly be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, or 0. Now, the lower levels of L we're pretty familiar with. 0 corresponds to s orbitals, p orbitals, d, f for 3, and then g and h, which are not on the periodic table, so we've never filled those sublevels. That's why this is a theoretical question. Okay, now let's think about this idea when L is equal to 5. So I'm going to work on this one first. If I think about L equaling 5, M sub L can have several values. It can have plus 5, plus 4, plus 3, plus 2, plus 1, 0, as well as minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, and minus 1. Now, if I look at all the values that I have made, this is 11 values. So that's going to be 11 orbitals, and you may remember that each orbital holds 2 electrons, so that gives me 22 electrons. So that is just for the 6H sublevel. Now I need to think about these other sublevels. So, how about if I work on the 4 sublevel next? So here, m sub l can be plus 4, plus 3, plus 2, plus 1, 0, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. And here, in this box, you can see that, okay, I seem to have nine orbitals, ORBs, there we go, and there are two electrons in each of those, so that gives me 18 electrons in what would be known as the 6G orbital. So I'm just going to circle these two values uh, so we keep track of these. Now let me go to look at the L equal 3, 2, 1, and 0. These are going to be a little bit for, familiar with you. If we think about the 6F, I think you could, you know, go through the math. You could say that L is equal to 3, so M sub L ranges from plus 3 to 0 to minus 3. But you may also remember that, oh, they're f orbitals, so there's seven orbitals. So indeed, if I multiply those by two electrons, that has storage for 14 electrons. Then you can think about the 6d, l is 2. You can go through the math and say, okay, m sub l ranges from plus 2 to 0 to minus 2. But since they're kind of familiar and are commonly occupied, you may remember Oh yes, D's are groups of 5 orbitals, 2 electrons, so that gives me 10, total electron storage. Then of course there is 6P, L is equal to 1, M sub L is equal to plus 1, 0, or minus 1. So that gives me 3 orbitals, or, and 2 electrons per orbital gives me 6 electrons. And finally there is 6S which means L equals 0, which means M sub L equals 0. So that is going to be 1 orb and multiplied by 2 electrons. That's 2 electrons total. So my totals on this page are 14, 10, 6, 2. And don't forget on the previous slide, I had 22 and 18. So let's add these all up, and we are looking at 72 total electrons. Now there is a little bit of a trick to this. You can do it a little bit easier.
may be from knowing the formula that the number of electrons is going to be equal to 2x squared, where x is the n value. So our n is 6, so 2 times 6 squared is 2 times 36, so voila, 72 electrons can be held in the n equals 6 quantum, principal quantum number value. Alright, that's it.